to Cooking Companions, or maybe welcome back if you watched me play the demo a little while ago. Um, I bought this game right when it came out, but I just haven't had a chance to heck and play it yet. So here we finally heck and go. Um, I'm so excited. Come on, no game, please. Yes, thank you. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Y'all are warned. Hehe, <laughs> cute. That walk was brutal, but this cabin is amazing. Full kitchen, running water, it really has everything. Finally, a place I could read a good book in peace. I can't wait to, to, ah! ah <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone, it must be the dust. Get those allergies under control, Mariah. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease, we can make this cabin shine. So, are you volunteering to clean, Gregor? No? Not many supplies here. Guess we'll have to go out to get what we need. There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? Leave that to me, little guy. I'll tidy up around the cabin. Need to save Mariah from dying due to this dust. <laughs> hey! Allergies are nothing to joke about, Karen. She's not dead yet, Pipsqueak. Calm down. Thanks, Anatoly. I think I'll go foraging outside over with over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, and 70 slime molds. There's bound to be treasure up here. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Take me with you. That sounds like a lot of fun. I can't hear myself very well. I got a new headset. <laughs> I feel like I'm being way too quiet. I might be overcompensating and yelling. Anyway, um, roughing it is fun. Anatoly knows so much about edible foods. We're in good hands. I think the slime molds will be the most delicious. Most certainly not. What about the fungi? Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? I, uh, I can figure that out. <laughs> you could be the canary in the coal mine, Anatoly. I'm not ending up a corpse here. Yeet. Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. It won't be a problem. I read up on 10 different techniques to incapacitate them. Number one is Anatoly. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Mariah. <laughs> Got carried away again, haha. <laughs> I'll help Anatoly look for food. I'm definitely better at warding off wild animals. <laughs> nice. If we come up empty handed, we can always eat some of the food we've brought. You mean the emergency rations? Bad idea, chump. Hey, Anatoly and Mariah are getting the food. Gregor is gathering the fire mood. That makes you our designated chef. <gasps> we are designated chef. Everyone's looking at you expectantly. You nod. Very excited to try your cooking. All right, everyone, let's go work while there's still sunlight. Later. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor. The three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. Tutorial, to save the game, right click or hit the escape button on your keyboard to pull up the menu. Fair. Save. Back to game, okay. This menu will also allow you to adjust volume levels or exit to the title screen to view unlockables. Please note, going back to the main menu or exiting the game without saving will remove progress you've made. Be sure to save. Do you have any experience making meals? Ooh, we got our first achievement already. Um, of course. Is that so? Hmm. Looking at you, I think you'd be good at serving up food poisoning. You're such a bitch, right? Looks like Karen will remember that. That we're good at cooking? What? Anyways. Going to check out the living room. Let's talk later. Karen heads to the living room and starts dusting a little bit. You decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. Tutorial, you never know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching an area more than once. Why not give it a try? What area do you want to search first? Let's do cupboards. The first few cupboards are empty. Anatoly must put the supplies somewhere else. Behind the wood pile. There's nothing but cobwebs back here. Thankfully, no spiders. And the drawers. You check the drawers on the left. 
Just some dirty knives. Okay, so it specifically said left. Okay, so it is telling us like, we check these again. You check the cupboards again. Just some mouse turds and cobwebs. Check drawers again. You check the drawer, drawer above the mouse hole. Some kind of mold is growing in this one. Maybe Karen will find it appetizing. Um, okay. You look at the woodlocks closer. This is just a pile of Norway spruce. Ugh. You check the cupboard underneath the sink. You found a dead mouse. Mmm. This would be a great gift to give to Karen. You add the dead mouse to your inventory. You put the dead mouse back in the cupboard. Karen's not ready for the dead mouse yet. Wait, no, I want it. Can I have it? You notice the letter L engraved on the left side of the cupboard. What a fitting gravestone for the mouse. Aw. Nori's spruce won't burn as hot as logs from an oak tree. These would be useless during a snowfall. You check the drawer above the woodpile. Something is making it difficult to open. You pull it open with all your might. Wee cabbage! Wee cabbage! It's time! Chompet, sound off! Onion! Never fear, Onion is here. <laughs> like my cousin, Cornbread says, I'll rise to the occasion. Raspberry! Always merry raspberry! Potato. Cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. <laughs> Where are the jump heads? <laughs> Why talk with those boring humans? All they have to give is drama. Come chat with us instead. We'll share valuable recipes you can cook. We'll share with you our secret chompette recipes. Collect them all to become a five-star chef. Tutorial, you can find unlocked recipes in the main menu under extra, but be sure to save the game. To celebrate, here's your first recipe card. Happy. Roasted eggplant with sesame and pomegranate. Meat free. Mmm. Food's here. <laughs> you unlocked your first recipe. I'm pretty sure that's different than the demo. Yeah. I don't think we got a recipe, did we? I don't know, it's been kind of a while. If you ever want to talk, just come to the drawer. Chompette! Let's move out! If I move out, they mean let's squirrel away in the drawer. Cabbage rudely slams the drawer shut. You wonder if what you just saw was real. You're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. But only slightly. Hey. Did you find the supplies? You shake your head. Anatoly lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Idiot. Here you go. You got the emergency supplies. Karen leaves you alone. You start a fire with some of the wood and get to work on cooking dinner. Tonight's entree, vegetable stew. In a large saucepan over medium heat, you heat some water with potatoes, carrots, and celery in it. 15 minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. Placing some butter in the saucepan, you melt it over medium heat. Throwing some chopped onions in, you cook it for about 10 minutes. The onions are tender and translucent. Perfect. You next mix in some flour, salt, pepper, and heavy cream into the saucepan, adding vegetables to the mixture. Hours pass. Oh, I like that the background lighting changed. We're back. More firewood than you'll ever need. We found some wild sorrel. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. Anatoly's burying the lead. We saw a red deer. <laughs> Mariah spotted it. Are we gonna eat the... We're gonna hunt the deer? Yeah, that's great. Anyway, killed 17 spiders today while you were out looking at deer. Yeah! That should come as no surprise. There's over 160 species of spiders here. Uh, 160? <laughs> Don't worry, Mariah. I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something. <laughs> no. Almost all of them were near the couch. Yeah! I hate couches. I was gonna sleep on the couch! That's where 16 of them were. I'm not sleeping on that couch then. Hmm. There's only two beds in the bedroom. Don't sweat it, Mariah. I can sleep anywhere, so I'll sleep in the rocking chair. I'll sleep with one eye open, just in case any of them swarm the couch. Thanks, Gregor. 
Karen and Anatoly, you two, you two take the bedroom. Th thanks, big guy. Joke's on you, Gregor. I always planned on taking one of the beds. <laughs> wow. Anatoly, I snor snore louder than a lumber yard. Ugh. Sweet dreams, chump. You turn your back to your bubbling vegetable stew and try a bite. Oh, you turned back. Okay. It looks so good. Oh my god. This tastes pretty good. You cooked vegetable stew. You set the table and ask everyone to dig in. Aw, cute. Wow, this smells delicious. Thank you. You must be a world-class chef. Karen takes a bite. It's bland as hell. Karen! Tastes like every other vegetable stew I've ever had. So generic. Could probably use some meat next time. Gross. For a side dish, we could bake some bread and utilize the Frigoria Vesca? Also known as strawberries for some jam. You asshole. <sighs> Why didn't you just say strawberries? Nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Everyone laughs at Karen's polite ribbing. Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. This could very well be the best day you've ever had. You go to bed stuffed. Oh. Oh. Day one. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited. Hey, you up? How'd you sleep? I was so warm last night. I didn't even need a blanket. What time is it? About one hour until dawn. Will you two pipe down? Try to sleep over here. Wow, she's so mad. Jesus, chill. Oh. Gregor, the birds outside aren't making much noise yet. We didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better to get a head start on gathering food. I honestly can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor, did you see any spiders last night? There was a small one in the bathroom. Yeah. Actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. Mariah turns a little pale. Karen's messing with you, Mariah. Let's find more than wild sorrel today. Ugh. If you're a lucky little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. What's with you and meat, big guy? Anatoly's herbalism book stated that there's many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. You know I'm not, uh, into meat. So, are you... Are you gay? I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. Cheer up, Karen. We'll get to observe the trout at the very least. Maybe we'll see more red deer today. Sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. <laughs> Maybe we'll find some blackthorn berries. I love blackthorn berries. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? You nod. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Such a brat. Don't steal anything, okay? Thought we were all friends. <laughs> you nod. Mariah, Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen leave the cabin with a hop to their step. You're alone, but thankfully, you have a drawer of trumpets to keep you company. Tutorial. Each day you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. You only get one choice, then the day will end. Choose wisely. What do you want to check out today? Oh. Let's... Um... Look around the bathroom. I don't know why, but, but let's do that. Yep, it's a bathroom. Toilet, bathtub, and a cabinet underneath the sink. Open the cabinet? Yes. You peer into the cabinet. You found a spider! It's pretty small, but it's hairy. It's far too gross to even squish. There's a note buried in the spider web. Ooh. Good day! We have received a fair number of complaints from Roslana Olerich over her perceived harassment of her nephew, Marco. Roslana alleges that you have been frightening him and are causing a public disturbance when traveling into town. Her list of complaints is as follows. Erratic shuffling. You zombie? Sneering at Marco in an attempt to in intimidate or frighten. Babbling incoherently. 
We understand this is by no means illegal, but Hunley requests that you stop immediately. Failure to do so will result in an in-person meeting to discuss. Thank you for your time, Leonard Casimirez. Mears. Casimirez? You take the complaint letter with you. You shut the cabinet. Taking notes, one of five. Ooh. Hmm. What else do you want to check out? Uh, let's look into the mirror. You get ready to look at your reflection in the mirror. Nah. <laughs> oh. Inspect the black markings. Doesn't look, doesn't look like black mold. Must be residue from some old liquids. Hmm. The others should be coming back any minute now. You leave the bathroom to go greet them. But I didn't even get to turn on the faucet. The fuck? We're back. Tee hee hee. Knock it off, Mariah. It's pretty rare to be scared of one. It, it, it's not. <laughs> Who knew the big guy would be so scared of... Shut up! Y you don't understand. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It was just a marmot, Gregor, not a monster. What is a marmot? Mariah laughed so hard that your ears ring. Bah! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Tears are rolling down Mariah's cheeks. She's so silly. She's laughing so hard that she's about to hyperventilate. Stop Mariah from hyperventilating? Absolutely not. <laughs> One less mouth to feed, right? You don't get it. It's pretty personal. Then please explain, big guy. I... Uh, Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Quite the selection of berries. We also found more wild sorrel. Is this going to be enough for a good meal? Everyone's looking at you for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide on your specialty, cabbage rolls. You first bring a large pot of water to a boil. Let the cabbage leaves boil for two minutes, drain the pot into the sink. In a medium mixing bowl, you combine some cooked rice, onion, an egg, salt, pepper, along with some tomato sauce. Use your hands to mix thoroughly and decide to wash your hands after it won't come off. Dividing the rice mixture evenly between the cabbage leaves, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stay in one piece. You place the cabbage rolls in a large scale over medium heat, pouring the rest of the tomato mixture over the top. Covering it, you bring it to a boil. I wonder if I should try making some of these recipes. It might be fun. <laughs> you reduce the heat to low and let the cabbage rolls simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to baste it with the liquid. Mmm, <laughs> looks good. You cooked cabbage rolls. Meals and deals. Mariah looks optimistic. Karen looks skeptical. Anatoly looks curious. Gregor looks thrilled. You watch intently as everyone takes the first bite. Cute. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's pretty darn good. I just spittled everywhere. Wow, I could eat the whole batch myself. I think the vegetable stew tasted better, but I'm loving how tender the cabbage is. The sauce is pretty red. Did you use fresh tomatoes for it? It really adds to it. Spoon some of the liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. Incredible! It's definitely growing on me. Thanks again for cooking. This really was something special. Hell yeah! Cool. Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. I mean, to be fair, they tromped around the woods all day looking for food. Not happening. You settle in and go to bed. Everyone goes to bed full. Tomorrow will be a, another great day. Day two. <laughs> I'm really nervous. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! Ugh. Again, Gregor? Can't you let us sleep in? Not today! Why? Storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. He's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it used a lot of what we had. Gregor's also correct. 
Precipitation is unusually high in this area, with many areas being high risk for flooding. It'd be foolish not to go out and look for food today. You really think it'll flood? Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from floodwaters. It's always a possibility, so it can't hurt to be prepared. You're losing it, Gregor. Karen! There's nothing to worry about. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Huh? It won't hurt to prepare for the worst. <laughs> I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. <laughs> Anatoly. Let's go out and prepare for the storm. Forging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods, and it has better odds than trying to hunt. Give me a few minutes, and I'll plot out our route on some paper. Let me help, little guy. It's funny that they call Anatoly little guy and Gregor big guy. Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Mariah and Karen are still hanging around. Tutorial. Unfortunately, in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Try to max out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Which one would you like to talk to? Um, uh, Mariah. Mariah is paging through some books on the bookshelf. You walk over to her. There's some great books here. Which one is your favorite? Um, ooh. All of them. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say the romantic one. Sorry, water. Uh, oh yeah? I read a few random pages. Seems pretty melodramatic. Why is everyone crying all the time? You shrug. Maybe the ending redeems it, but from what I've read, this book is hot garbage. Sometimes that's the fun of it, though. Sorry. Mariah looks pretty disappointed in your answer. There are definitely some better books you could be reading. I'll give you my list of recommendations later. You hear a tear from the other room. Sounds like the two are wrapping up their meeting. Gregor and Anatoly... <laughs> Everyone has, like, such strong feelings. Like, you pick one thing and they're like, Oh my god. We are... Total opposites and... It, 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 everything is stupid and sucks. And it's just like, wow, okay. Wow, chill. <laughs> it's just like a little difference of opinion. Calm down. <laughs> Gregor and Anatoly can't come back from their meeting. Gregor is blushing slightly. What? Y'all having a quick makeout sesh? What? Hey! Can you cook us something while we're out? You nod. Thank you! Alright everyone, we have our routes now. Let's beat those rain clouds. The group leaves, determined as ever. You have the cabin all to yourself. Oh, is this a TV? What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Huh? Radio? What's going on with that radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. It seems to be broken. Better hold on to this. You got the strange radio. Before you cook dinner, what should you check out? Let's... Uh, inspect the kitchen. You have nothing better to do, so you decide to talk to the chompettes. Hi. Good to see you again. Onion. Thought you abandoned us. Why are you trying to fool them? Go ahead and make those meals you enjoy so much. Raspberry. What? No thanks. That vegetable stew? Gross. You already stuck out the cabin last night. Spare us a repeat. Onion. It almost smells as bad as you, Stinky. Almost. Wow. Aren't you going to give them the recipe, Onion? I guess. Hey, ever notice those four humans don't give you any recipes? Those monsters! That's why you should spend more time with us. Right? Of course. I have the perfect recipe for you today. It will make the kitchen smell nice afterwards. And it will impress your dinner guests. Receive the borscht recipe. Don't burn down the cabin making it, okay? You nod. Don't be a stranger. Champettes. Mosey out. <laughs> you shut the drawer and wait for the others to return back. 
Trumpets are goofballs. Mariah is back early today. Is she okay? Hey. The others are still looking for food outside. Anatoly found some more berries, but nothing that will feed all of us. Please don't tell the others, but I'm a little worried about our supplies. I crunched the numbers and we don't have enough food, even with rationing, to last if there's a big storm and we get stuck here. Mariah seems disappointed in your inventory management. Can you try cooking with a little less this evening? You nod. Thank you. You've done such a great job with the meal so far. She, what, but why is she always looking at us so creepily? God, she's a freak. You're very sweet. Is Mariah blushing a little bit? Tee hee. Mariah will remember that. Your relationship is stronger. Oh, well, nice. Maybe you can teach me to cook sometime. You nod. Looking forward to it. Hey, you could cook. You could hold cooking classes here someday. Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. The when the characters move around, it's a little, a little weird. <laughs> Don't be so down, everyone. We got tons of good berries. Psh. Jam is so bland without any sugar. Do you have any sugar? You shake your head sadly. Yikes. Turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Ugh. Ugh. You missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Hues of orange, red, even a little purple poking out. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. So we can expect a sailor's delight tomorrow? That's awesome. You're such an optimist, big guy. We must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights. You could even see snow on the tips of the mountains. Oh. Somebody's hungry. Is it me? I am hungry. I'm waiting for my husband to get up so we can have breakfast together. Because it's the weekend. That rumble sounded like a dying calf. You look from person to person, trying to determine who it was. It was definitely Mariah. Mariah! I'd recognize that sound from anywhere. Ah! Guilty. Mariah looks embarrassed, but the group, group laughs at her honesty. Except for you. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. Um, those who have it do not want it. Those who have it least succeed. Those who have it for too long perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? Hmm. Dust? <laughs> Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Mariah's face lights up. I got it. Is it hunger? Correct. Yeah, I was going to guess that. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, chef? <laughs> Bread and jam. You crush the berries in your small mortar and pestle, spreading it on some crusty bread. You cooked raspberries. Raspberry jam and bread. Cool. The bread's a little bit tough. Gregor, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But this homemade jam is to die for. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're right, Gregor. This bread stinks. Mariah. Everybody laughs. You're not sure this could be called a meal, but it got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner and heads off to sleep. Why didn't we why weren't we sitting at the dinner table? You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. And it's becoming a nuisance. You try to see in the mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. You try almost everything, but it won't get off. The pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your pain in cool water. You didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks on the bottom cut your feet. You slip and fall to your knees. You lean back, trying to submerge the thing underneath the waters. But it won't drown, it won't drown, it won't drown. You splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. The current takes you downstream. You try swimming to the shore, but it's no use. Water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting into the sky as you sink to the bottom. 
As you take your last gasps, you see what was on your back, staring into your eyes. But you don't even have the air in your lungs to scream. You wake in a cold sweat. Oh, oh shit. I didn't like that at all. All right, well, that's that was actually a like, really good time. Just a dream. Okay. Thank you everybody for coming out and playing with me. Let me know what you guys are thinking of this game so far. It's pretty interesting. I didn't expect it to go so in depth with the recipes, but I, I mean, it, I guess it is like a cooking game kind of sort of. <laughs> um, I wish that we had, I wish we could do more with the recipes. Like there was a mini game involved or something. Cause like why bother walking us through the recipe, but we don't get to be involved at all. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, it's still like a ton of fun. Anyway. Thank you all for coming out and playing with me. Make sure to stretch and drink some water. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next one, all right? Bye!